Welcome back to your favorite YouTube channel, Master Auto Information. Please like and subscribe to my channel if you enjoy watching videos that dive deep into the latest in the world of automobiles, aviation, and technology. Today, we're taking a close look at the 2025 Comac Harj 21A China's homegrown regional jet that's slowly but surely making waves in the global aviation scene. The Comac Harj 21 which stands for Advanced Regional Jet for the 21st Century, might not be a brand new name for aviation enthusiasts. However, the 2025 model has introduced several updates that make it an aircraft worth talking about. Produced by Comac, or the Commercial Aircraft Corporation of China, the Arj-21 is a significant part of China's broader strategy to reduce reliance on Western aerospace giants like Boeing and Airbus. The Arj-21 program has had a long and challenging journey. It first took flight in 2008 after development began in 2002. The aircraft was designed to serve regional routes and compete with models like the Embraer E-Jet series and Bombardier CRJ series. After years of testing, certifications, and gradual rollout, the Arj-21 entered commercial service in 2016 with Chengdu Airlines. Fast forward to 2025, and we are now seeing a more refined, more efficient, and better integrated version of this regional jet. One of the major changes in the 2025 Arj-21 is the improvement in avionics and cockpit systems. Comac has worked with several partners including global suppliers and domestic tech developers, to upgrade the flight control systems, navigation tech, and digital displays in the cockpit. This not only enhances pilot efficiency but also brings the aircraft closer to international standards. Another big improvement is in fuel efficiency. The 2025 model includes aerodynamic refinements and weight reduction strategies. These upgrades mean lower operating costs for airlines and a more environmentally friendly footprint a something that's becoming increasingly important in the aviation industry. The Arj-21 is still powered by General Electric CF3410A engines, but modifications in software and system integration have allowed it to perform better in various weather conditions and over a broad range of terrains. Passenger comfort is also an area where Comac has listened to feedback and made changes. The 2025 Arj 21 has a more modern interior design, with LED lighting, improved seating, and quieter cabins. The aircraft can typically carry between 78 and 90 passengers, depending on the configuration. Airlines now have more flexibility in customizing the seating layout for economy or business travel, and the improved insulation significantly reduces engine noise, offering a smoother ride. One notable aspect of the Arj-21 is its performance in high altitude and high temperature environments a conditions that are often challenging for aircraft. This makes it particularly well suited for many of China's domestic routes, especially in western provinces. This year, Comac has emphasized reliability and safety, claiming that the Arj-21 now meets and exceeds several benchmarks used by regional jets in North America and Europe. From a commercial standpoint, the Arj-21 has been gaining momentum. By 2025, over 150 Arj-21s are in active service with various Chinese airlines, including Air China, China Eastern, and China Southern a major vote of confidence in the aircraft's capabilities. The aircraft is also being used for specialized roles, such as medical evacuation, cargo transport, and even firefighting. While it hasn't yet gained major traction internationally, Comac has started export campaigns in Southeast Asia, Africa, and South America. Several governments and airlines in these regions are in talks to acquire the Arj-21 as a cost-effective alternative to Western-built jets. The 2025 upgrades are expected to play a crucial role in this export strategy, making the aircraft more appealing in global markets. There's also something quite symbolic about the Arj-21. For China, this aircraft represents not just another plane but a stepping stone toward becoming a global aerospace leader. It has served as a platform for Comac to gain experience in design, 
production, and certification processes. These lessons are now being applied to newer projects, such as the C919 narrow body jet and the upcoming CR929 wide body aircraft in partnership with Russia. Looking at its design, the Arj 21 has a distinct appearance with its high mounted wings and T tail similar to older McDonnell Douglas aircraft. That's no coincidence a much of the design inspiration and tooling come from China's past work with McDonnell Douglas in the 1980s and 1990s. However, today's Arj 21 is very much a Chinese product, with significant localization and tech improvements. The 2025 model introduces more use of composite materials, which contributes to the weight savings we mentioned earlier. Comac has also focused on improving maintenance intervals and reducing downtime between flights a crucial factor for regional airlines that depend on quick turnarounds. Despite its progress, the Arj-21 still faces challenges. Gaining certification in markets like the US and Europe is tough due to regulatory hurdles and political tensions. Furthermore, Competition from more established players like Embraer and the new Mitsubishi Space Jet means Comac has to continue improving rapidly. But if you look at the big picture, the Arj 21 has gone from being a project many dismissed to a real contender in the regional jet market. The 2025 version shows that Comac is serious about evolving and listening to both operators and passengers. It's not perfect but it's improving and that's what makes it a fascinating aircraft to watch. In conclusion, the 2025 Comac Arj 21 is more than just a regional jet. It's a statement of intent. It's a symbol of ambition, persistence, and engineering growth. Whether it will become a staple on international routes remains to be seen, but within China and potentially in emerging markets, it's already proving its worth. Thanks for watching this detailed update on the 2025 Comac Arj 21. If you liked the video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to Master Auto Information for more deep dives into the latest in aviation, automobiles, and transportation technology. Drop your thoughts in the comments below. A would you fly in a Comac jet? See you in the next video.